Hi guys. guys, welcome back to another video. So yeah, we're in the car because we are going to go and drive and get some KFC. We're gonna go and drive and get some KFC. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. In my head. We're gonna go to the drive-thru in KFC and get some fluids. Cause we're gonna do the Q and A and mukbang. So yeah. I actually um, haven't seen any of the questions. No, nor have I. So it's just gonna That's be like, it's basically gonna be like first hand. It's gonna be like Quick very, fire. um, like our reactions are gonna be real. You get it? Like it's gonna be the first time hearing. I don't know why he was quiet, but she is gonna be in the mukbang too. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's more energy, guys. You know in the camera she's so shy, but you know when the camera's off, she's the loudest person. Okay, lies. She's the second loudest person in the house. <laughs> if I'm not there, then she's the loudest person. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need to make a move on. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to go now because people are probably staring at us, thinking why. What are they doing? Like, what are, what are they doing? Okay, so we're gonna go and, yeah. We Bye! Will... Garnish. Why would there's another... This is not for me. Okay, we're gonna go to the drive-thru. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're gonna go to the drive-thru and get some food. Oh, yeah, we're gonna finish all of this. Look, when, I'm order, when we're ordering, like, takeout, you don't want to eat salad, you know? Oh my god, they love to argue. So guys, we've come back and we've got our food from KFC. Oh, you said now. <laughs> <laughs> we've just come back from KFC and um, we're going to start the Q&A. Mm -hmm. What things? The questions are in here, so you want to read them? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so the first one is for Dwarm. How was it like being a man at Mobin and how did you manage to get on the show? When you're done. <laughs> being a man at Mobin was, is such an amazing experience. Like, it was the best thing to ever, ever happen to me. So, look, I feel very, like, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to be on a show like that. So, yeah, to be a part of that project was just amazing. And I got the audition because Abira seen a advertisement on instagram and she sent it to my mom mom goes oh my god that's perfect so we auditioned and yeah it, i had no previous experience so if you want to get into acting and you think oh my god i need to do this or i need to go to drama school is that Simba? Did it, did it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god next question i'm hungry okay this is for you abby how's you you laughed during this pandemic i can speak for hours on this topic you don't understand everyone who goes to uni will feel my pain i feel like they don't care about you i can feel like it's really really hard and we didn't get enough help that i'd expected us to get considering it we're in a pandemic and on top no. of that we're paying 9k a year for what and then this year is going to be exactly the same thing i feel like it's just so unfair what's your biggest fear and it's in my Parent. Parent and my grandparents. Same. <laughs> and my siblings. Um, oh, you were going to say siblings, was you? <laughs> and my cat, no. that's it. Oh my God, I said to my mum today, if Simba passed away, I'd faint. <laughs> <laughs> I'd faint. I'd probably die, but I'd faint. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? London or America? No places excite me. I just want to move closer to family. So near Luton or in Luton. Go no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, like Dwar said, living closer to family is better because I feel like people, ideally people usually say, oh, I'd like to move to, um, I don't know, Australia, Bali. Hey. Just for, yeah, no. like, like the high food <laughs> places. Like, Please, not you, we're not talking to you. I can say so many opportunities but i feel like when it boils down to best places you've been to or dream holiday i'm not gonna lie turkey is my favorite place mine's egypt what about you right. hers is home hers is home her bed and egypt hello hussein if you're watching miss you so much we all do he's legit like our family member yeah we did meet and greet wait they said eventually when crowned I don't think, way. um, like, no need, no, like, I'm no, no one. No, there's no need to do one. Yeah. Because we're not Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Shut up. I am just like you guys. 
She is just like you guys, and she is just like you guys, and you guys are just like us guys. Does that make sense? Like, we're the same. See you know what I mean? Normal people. Okay, go. Been on the same. Same wing for ages. Views on marriage. Views on marriage. You're too young. You're too young. But I did say I'm not going to answer this question. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I'm going to let us put that in. Huh? I'm going to let us put that in. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Views on marriage. Um... Don't get married. Don't get married until you're financially stable. Don't get married until you know for sure he's the right one. Like, if there's one little thing, flag, that he's done, cut or it off. Or her. Yeah. Or her. Or her. Sorry. Or her. Yeah, period. Or her. <laughs> but, like, um, yeah, then cut it off. So, obviously, I had the conversation with my cousin who was speaking about this topic. And she's also not married, but she's 27. And she was saying to me, you'd rather wait um, and get married to the right person then get married to the wrong person beforehand and end up in a divorce anyway and that stuck with me because a lot of people nowadays who are my age even forget abby's age but my age 18 they're thinking you know what i found someone and i want to make it her last so let's just get married i'm gonna get married to you because obviously in that moment yeah they're gonna feel like yeah i love you and you're the one but it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that like it really doesn't you're very young you're 18 and you might you're immature, like, I'm not gonna lie, no one's matured fully when they're 18. So they might grow up and be like, they might, the other half may be immature, like, more immature than them, and they, they might feel like, oh my, what have I done? Like, look who I've ended up with. I feel like this is not very common wanted. nowadays. In this generation, it's so common for girls and guys to get into a relationship. But if you've done your research and you've actually researched relationships in Islam, you'd understand it's people make out that it's so strict it's not strict at all because mm -hmm. you can get to know someone you're allowed to get to know that person and you're allowed to meet up with them as long as you're with other people so like a group of people and the parents can get to know each other that way your relationship isn't haram and your marriage will have blessings and baraka in it so i feel like it's just so common nowadays there's people that scroll through Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat. They see, they see couple goals. They're watching people who are in relationships, who are even married. And they're like, oh my God, I want to be like them. I want to be in a relationship like that. I want to get married and I'm going to be like that. That is not reality. They only portray what they want you to see. Obviously, no one's going to know what goes on behind closed doors and no marriages are perfect. We're, human. We're all human. Like We all have emotions. We're put on this earth to be tested, do you know what I mean? We're all getting tested enough. We all are going through our own journeys. I'm going through my own journey, she's going through hers. But this sister's going through hers. But don't think that, okay, like people who are watching, obviously relationships are so common, it's a norm nowadays. Don't think, oh, I've been in a relationship or I'm in a relationship. Don't feel like bad about it, but just better yourself from it. We've been put on this earth to make mistakes and learn from them and yeah, we've no one's perfect. So, alhamdulillah for the good and alhamdulillah for the bad. Um, I feel like when things go wrong in our lives, we're always like, oh, like, why does this have to happen to us? Like, why is this happening to me? And sometimes when bad things happen, it's like with a lesson it comes out of it. You know what I mean? A lesson is taught. Yeah, because we, you've learned. We're put in that. situations, good and bad, where lessons are taught at the end of it. Then in the end, you're like... You, you thank God and you're like, thank you for showing me this. Thank you for teaching me this. Remember, like, everything happens if, if for If you a didn't reason. go through what you went through, you it's would like have that learned. Quote, it's like that quote, after every hardship comes, comes ease. ease. Yeah, and it's so true. Like, it's really true. And also, when you start to realise why things are happening and you start to realise that every outcome has a reason, you you definitely build a closer relationship with God. I, I'm too young to talk about this topic. Yeah, you are. So put the chicken in your mouth, mate. <laughs> What do you want to be in the future? You can go first. I want to be an orthodontist. Why? I find it really interesting. Okay. So I said that from like when she was so little. But um, I didn't know. I didn't, didn't, don't know if you know guys and sisters, but might be a big shock. I've always wanted to be an actress, you know? I don't, you know when some people say to me like, you're an actress, how do you feel? I'm like, but I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't count myself as an actress. You know what I mean? Even though I do acting, it's like... Yeah, I don't count you as... You know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, no, I'm not. It's just weird. Like, I feel like I'm, I am still haven't 
You know what's funny? Everyone used to call you a drama queen. Remember? Reached my... Not, not a drama queen. Drama queen. Drama queen. That's what they used to say. And it stuck, guys. But no, when I was younger, though, I really wanted to be a police officer. Look, I would still love to go into that path as well. Look, I feel like maybe one day, like, I don't know, I might hit 30 and I might be like, you know what, acting's not for me now. It was when I was younger, not for me now. And I might want to go into policing. I might study that into that path. You know what I mean? But imagine if I get a role where I get to act as a police officer. I would love it if the bill come back. I don't think it is, but I used to watch that 20... I used to re-watch that episode, you remember? Oh, my God, like... Oh, my God, like, you know what? I like, oh, my God, like... Yeah, like, oh, my God. Comment down below if you used to watch the bill, because if you did, please DM me. Let's be friends. Let's talk about it, because, yeah. But, so, like, with me... I change my mind every single day. I obviously studied biomedical science and um, I feel like when I was younger, I always said to my mum, I'm gonna become a surgeon, a doctor or a surgeon. And obviously it's a very long process and it takes a very long time. But then I'm thinking the outcome is gonna be amazing, so why not? Yeah. But then obviously I've been looking into other subjects that I wanna study after graduating in biomedical science as well. Cause I'm thinking, do you know in your younger years, it's best to get the studying out of the way. And then like when you're older, you can go into whatever because yeah. you've got everything to fall on. Onto, you have a wider field of choice. Yeah, yeah. cause I wanna study biomed and I wanna do my doctorates, but then I wanna do dentistry as well. Like I do wanna study dentistry. I looked a lot into it as well. And I showed Hero a few things what they do oh know, really dentistry and she actually finds it very interesting and when is going country coming out so guys i actually don't know but with a short film it has to go to film festivals first and i feel like i mean i actually don't know but what i'm going off i feel like coronavirus has also put a stop to the film festivals you know what i mean like it can't really go to as many film festivals as it could have because obviously people can't attend the film festivals because of rona so um yeah, I don't I, I don't have a date for you guys, but I'll have to find out and I'll have to keep you guys updated because I could definitely find out. Um, this is a short film and it's amazing and I can't wait for you guys to see if you do. I don't know any dates, but yeah, I'll let you know. Explain what Going Country is for the people that don't know. Going Country is to do with council lines, which is also about drugs and, and it's, yeah. yeah, it's about a young girl, which is which is the girl that I play, and her best friend goes missing. She's looking for her, but then she gets wrapped up in all this drug stuff. What happens with that is trafficking. I'm not just saying this because I'm in there. Like, if I wasn't in there playing that character, and someone else was, I would definitely still say, please watch it. Like. It shows a lot and it will make you more aware of these things. And if you're young, because I know we have a lot of young followers and etc. If you're ever in a position, God forbid, but if you're any, ever in a position where someone asks you to do that, obviously watching things beforehand will show you and will also make you like be like, well, no. You know what I mean? Make them aware. Yeah, it will make you guys aware. Who's the favourite? So who's our favourite, I think? I'm a favourite. They're all the same. Just Why are you lying? No. I'm your favourite. No, you're not. Yes, Mo yeah. is her favourite. They're okay. all the same and equal. Oh, I can't say I love one more than the other because I don't. I don't have one. All of you are. Fine, but who are you closer to? I'm not closer to anyone. How is she like that? <laughs> My favourite sibling, I'd say... You know what? I'd say Hero is, but like, like I wouldn't admit it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like um, Hero. <laughs> I guess I'm everyone's favourite. <laughs> I am. Uh, your favourite? <laughs> I'm joking, mate. I'm yeah. joking, mate. Mine is happy as well. <laughs> if you could change one thing in the past, what would it be? I wouldn't change nothing because I feel like everything happens for a reason. Like I said, we're put on this um, earth as a test. Everyone goes through their own journey. I'm not going to lie. I've changed certain things. Same. I wouldn't. Same. I would. I would. I'm not really going to put it out there, though, but I would. Then. Don't get me wrong, when I think of certain situations, I feel like I could have behaved in a different manner, but at the same time, seeing the outcome of it, it's like I needed to be in that situation to know what I know today. You know what I mean? And like, that goes things. with friendships, that goes with family, it goes with everything. Yeah, I've changed certain things, but it's got nothing to do with, like, people, family or anything. It's just my own life choices. I'd also, yeah, I know what you mean. But other than that, I wouldn't change anything else. <laughs> you need to change what do you think like do you do you wish you could change I, I, there's nothing really to change 
views on getting the vaccine or not? Feel like, right, I wouldn't get the vaccination personally. I feel like it's been made too quick and vaccinations... Way too is, quick. It it's hasn't like, been tested long sudden. enough to know what the side effects are, how it affects a person. Cause you have so, yeah, I haven't looked into it as much to have an opinion, like, have a strong opinion on it, but right now I'd say no, I wouldn't. Like, get it done. What is it like being an actress, Dwight? And what would you give and What would you give an a, advice to a teenager who wants to pursue their dreams but always get judged? I personally don't see myself as an actress, but, I mean, how does it feel like to be in the acting industry? It's so amazing. Um, it's obviously something that I'm so grateful for. My advice to you guys who want to get into acting is obviously to just look into it. Um, I wouldn't say having an experience isn't something that you need to get into acting, but having that on your side is also such a benefit. But yeah, just look into it. I mean, I, honestly, I can't really give you much advice on that because I didn't go through... I feel through, like with acting, it's hit or miss. I didn't go through certain things to get into acting. It just happened. Because and I wish I could say, guys, just wait for an advertisement, but you know what I mean? No. I mean, like, this is why I say when people ask me, like, do you have to do, did you have to do all this beforehand? No, I didn't. But I feel like for you guys, if you do want to get into it, like, you really want to get into it, then the safer option would be to obviously go to acting school and, and keep out for opportunities. Like, because we, there's always roles going for different shows. Yeah, just look, look online for, for um casting directors and then follow their social medias and they'll, they'll put out like leaflets like every so often or and posts on what roles and are. if the description matches you you apply for it yeah all you have to do is apply for it but i feel like it's hit or miss because a lot of people do educate in the drama industry and they don't really go far with that like, yeah because it's really hard to actually go into the acting industry and that's why most people end up doing theater instead because that is the easier route which is true yeah but it's also a talent to be in a theater i'd I'd love to do something theatre wise as well. I remember we used to watch pantomimes. Yeah. It was we so actually like, auditioned for one when we were very young. Yeah, it was it's such an experience. And I feel I like what it was for. It's such a talent. I don't know, I think they wanted me to be an apple. If you get judged for it, say there's nothing wrong with doing acting as long as you're not, you know, doing her wrong stuff on TV. Like obviously you're gonna get roles where they ask, Could you do this? Could you kiss? But that's why you tell them beforehand. You, you, I'd say that like if you're always getting judged you just gotta put it to the back of your head because with acting you judging comes with it like there's gonna be a lot of people hating but a lot of people supporting and you just have to have a strong mindset and you just have to block out the hate with all the support that you get and it is hard at first especially if you're young because when i was 15 you when you started my life when i started my life i had hate. so much hate and like it was like every night i was going to my mom saying look at this look at this look at this because i had my parents support i was so like determined to do more acting i was like you know what i'm gonna do more but yeah because i loved it as well the hate i was like i don't care i love it this this is what i want to do how do you both keep a strong relationship between yourself and sisters guys we're siblings we fight we argue yeah that's normal we fight more and then we argue and don't... then we fight even more but then we also have our happy time yeah but you, you guys don't see that but even when we do argue okay say we'll argue right now yeah about five minutes later, I'll be sitting on, the, sitting on the sofa and Dwight will walk in and she'll act like nothing happened. Yeah. Or I'd be the same. Like, that's what siblings do. No one holds grudges. It's not like, okay, Dwight, um, I've argued with Dwight now and I'm just gonna Never ignore her. her for, yeah. like, how many weeks. It doesn't work like that. You live under I the same I wish she room. does. You're just gonna have that type of relationship where you can say, literally, the meanest things to each other because you're sisters. <laughs> but... Yeah, you're also gonna be right. best friends at the end. <laughs> Why right. You're also gonna be best friends at the end. They say it? so many mean things <laughs> to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say we we don't put Mo in the camera as much. Like a lot of you guys do want him in our videos, and we will put him in there. But like I just want to put out there that our <laughs> relationship, the way you see it with us, is exactly the same with him. He's as annoying as us. He's as loud as us. But you know what I mean. That's all there is. <laughs> but we love him. Yeah, exactly the same. So go. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, comment down, down below. below. Bye.